Danger Man here. I'm in Union Square in Manhattan on a Wednesday night before the Wednesday night skate. And I'm gonna be skating with a number of intermediate to advanced skaters. But this video is for you beginner skaters. One of the first things you, you need as a beginner skater is not only the helmet, of course, but pads. You should have wrist guards, elbow pads, and knee pads. But most everybody's gonna decide I'm not gonna opt for anything but a knee pad. So let's talk about knee pads. The knee pad that you own should be one that you absolutely trust. If you don't trust your knee pad on your knee, then it's not worth owning. So let's talk about knee pads in detail now. This is a Protec knee pad. They're made by most manufacturers uh, for heavy duty skaters like skateboarders. This large oversized knee pad is what I recommend. It's not only got the thick foam, but it's got the hard, pla hard shell plastic. I wouldn't go with any of the really minimalistic knee pads. I love these. This is an over the knee knee pad, which means it doesn't just strap on and that's the end of it. It actually goes over the foot and then up the knee. So I want this to come over my foot, up onto my knee, and then I have my Velcro straps as well, all right? With this knee pad, I now know that when I fall down, when I go to my knees, this is not gonna shift. I need to trust that this knee pad is never gonna be anywhere but right here. It's not gonna be down, it's not gonna slide up, it's gonna stay right here at all times. And with an over the leg knee pad, I'm gonna get that stability and I'm gonna get that trust factor that I'm gonna need on my knee pad. Another thing is, is the knee pad itself should be, as it comes up on the knee, your kneecap should be right here at the very top, okay? because all of your sliding is gonna take place down here. It's not gonna take place up over the knee, so you don't need your knee pads up here. You need them right there, okay? And this part here is essentially the part that's gonna to need to be the tightest. And then you tighten your other, other, knee, uh, other strap in the back. So now we're gonna move on to actually showing you how to use the knee pad, how to drop and fall. Because falling on your knee pad is the key. You need to know how to fall. If you don't know how to fall, then you're never gonna use your knee pad appropriately. It's, a knee pad is not just because you fell and it's there. You need to fall on the knee pad properly. And, then, and again, this comes back to that, that point I made earlier. You need to trust that this knee pad will never shift so that when you fall the way you need to fall, it will, you will fall appropriately. Now we're gonna learn how to actually fall on your knee pads properly. You're gonna do this on the dirt or on the grass in the comfort of your own home and your yard or a friend's place or on the carpet. But you're gonna do it on a, on a place where you feel comfortable. Remember, the most important thing about these knee pads that you've got on is you trust them not to shift. When you get to that point, that's when you will really, really be a better skater. Because the more you use your knee pads, the more you will trust yourself as a skater. They, they free you in terms of how you feel as a skater. All right, so let's get down to it. You're standing in a straight position, and you're just going to let your knees fall straight down. You're just going to drop straight down. Wheels come right out from underneath me. Okay? I've dropped to my knees, and I didn't feel any pain. Nothing came up through the the knee whatsoever, I felt as comfortable as if I was landing on a pillow. I trust my knee pad. That's where you need to be with yours. If you don't get to that level, then you go back to the store and you buy a new pair. This is why I also suggest the knee pads with the large oversize, because the small ones, what are they going to do for me? They're going to shift. I think, I, I think they're the biggest waste there could possibly be. You're not going to get anything out of the shock. You're going to feel the pain. You can, take, you can still take a, 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 a broken bone through the smaller knee pads. I think these are the only ones that should be sold on the market. Yes, they're for aggressive skater, skateboarders, but the fact is they're perfect for inline skaters who are beginning. So, again, when you're up on your knees, you're practicing on the dirt, just raising and dropping over and over again. But eventually, you're gonna get to a point where you're skating and you're gonna know how to fall on your knee pads. You're gonna skate and you can slide on those knee pads and you'll trust that they're not gonna shift. I just threw myself to the ground and I trusted in my knee pads. I'm doing it now, look at this. I'm, I know they're not gonna shift and I'm not gonna take an abrasion on my knee. Take a look at me from the side. See how the knee pad is off the knee a little bit? It doesn't need to be way up over the knee. It needs to be right there because this is where all the action is. I'm protecting my knee down through my shin. So there you go, there's your first lesson in knee pads. I know we can go into elbow pads and wrist guards later, but as a beginner, I know you want to, uh, to feel comfortable on skates and these are what's gonna do it for you. They're gonna make you a better skater. So there you go, there's your first lesson in knee pads. I hope you take this. Remember, if they, you don't trust them, you take them back and buy another pair. It's too much for any man!